Have you ever wondered how much carbon dioxide your favorite space telescope generates? It might not be something you think about when marveling at the latest images of distant galaxies, but it's a question with surprising implications. The Kepler Space Telescope, for instance, launched back in 2009, has discovered nearly 5,000 exoplanets during its 11-year lifetime. Incredible, right? But here's the catch. It also generated 52,620 tons of carbon dioxide emissions, that's mostly from electricity and supercomputing power. Now let's take a step back and look at the broader picture. A recent study analyzed the greenhouse gas footprint of 46 space-based missions and 39 ground observatories. It found that these 85 observatories collectively generated a total of 20,300,000 tons of carbon dioxide. That's equivalent to the amount of CO2 produced by over 4 million cars in a year. So where do these emissions come from? Well, for ground-based observatories, it's largely due to construction. Building these huge structures requires a lot of energy, which often comes from fossil fuels. On the other hand, space-based observatories primarily emit CO2 through electricity usage. After all, running all those advanced instruments and systems takes a lot of power. It's clear that the astronomy community needs to address its carbon footprint. But how? By switching to renewable energy sources and slowing down the construction of new observatories. It's a challenging task, but with concerted effort and innovative solutions, we can continue to explore the cosmos without compromising our own planet. How can simple animations reveal the surprising physics of our solar system? Let's dive into the world of James O'Donoghue, a planetary scientist for NASA, who has found a unique way to answer that question. Harnessing the power of animation, O'Donoghue has created a series of engaging videos that bring the mysteries of the cosmos down to Earth. One of his first animations took viewers on a journey to Saturn, visualizing how the planet's iconic rings would look as they slowly fell away over time. This animation didn't just spark curiosity, it caught the attention of the New York Times catapulting O'Donoghue's work into the limelight, but Saturn's rings were just the beginning. O'Donoghue soon found himself creating a video comparing the spin of each planet, a seemingly simple concept that hides complex physics. This video quickly gained traction, amassing 1.6 million views in just a few days. O'Donoghue's animations have since grown in number and scope, covering topics as diverse as the speed of light in space, the formation and movement of the moon, and the rotation of celestial bodies in our solar system. Each one is a masterclass in scientific communication, breaking down complex concepts into digestible, visually engaging snippets of knowledge. This isn't just about creating cool videos, though. O'Donoghue's work is a testament to the power of animation as a tool for public engagement. In his hands, animation becomes a bridge connecting the public with the often intimidating world of space science. It's a reminder that science is not just for the experts, it's a part of our everyday lives, a story we're all a part of. The popularity of O'Donoghue's animations has earned him the Europlanet Society's Prize for Public Engagement, a fitting recognition for someone who has done so much to make space science accessible and exciting for everyone. O'Donoghue's animations remind us that sometimes the best way to understand the universe is to visualize it. What can the universe teach us about our workplaces? In the vast expanse of the cosmos, stars follow a predictable path of birth, life, and eventual death, each stage marked by unique characteristics and behaviors. Believe it or not, this celestial dance offers a surprisingly insightful perspective on human dynamics within our workplaces. Welcome to the concept of business astronomy. In this celestial metaphor, individuals within an organization are likened to stars, each radiating their own unique light. But just like stars, employees too can follow different paths. Some are shooting stars, individuals who, feeling undervalued or unfulfilled, decide to leave their current roles in search of new horizons. Their departure, often sudden and unexpected, can create a significant void within an organization. Then we have the dimming stars, those who over time reduce their energy and engagement. They might still be physically present, but their enthusiasm and creativity have noticeably faded. They're in the office, but they're not really there, if you know what I mean. Lastly, there are the falling stars. These are the individuals who have become disillusioned and resistant to change. They've lost faith in the organization's ability to fulfill their needs and have disengaged completely, often to the detriment of team morale and productivity. So what can be done to reverse these trends? How can we keep our stars shining brightly? The answer lies in addressing the six facets of human needs in the workplace, 
security, status, achievement, autonomy, purpose, and connection. By creating a work culture that values each individual and strives to meet these needs, organizations can help ensure their stars continue to shine brightly, contributing to a productive and fulfilling workplace. Just as astronomers study the stars to understand the universe, Business leaders can study their employees to create more productive and fulfilling workplaces. How does understanding the universe change our perspective on Earth? As we delve deeper into the cosmos, we uncover not only the secrets of the universe but also the revelations about our own world. Our journey into the unknown reminds us of our place in the grand scheme of things and the responsibility we bear towards our home planet. The environmental footprint of astronomical endeavors is a testament to this responsibility. Our desire to understand the universe while awe-inspiring has a tangible impact on our environment. The carbon emissions from our space missions and ground observatories are a stark reminder that every action, even the pursuit of knowledge, has a consequence. As we continue to gaze at the stars, we must also focus on the footprint we leave behind, seeking ways to switch to renewable energy sources and slowing down the construction of new observatories. Beyond the environmental impact, our exploration of the universe has also shed light on the power of visualization. The universe in all its grandeur often escapes the confines of words and numbers. This is where the power of animation steps in, making the complex mechanics of the cosmos accessible and engaging. It's through these simple yet powerful animations that we can grasp the rotation of celestial bodies, the speed of light in space, and the intricate dance of Saturn's rings. Our journey through the cosmos also offers a unique perspective on our own workplaces. The concept of business astronomy draws parallels between the universe and our professional lives. Just as stars in the cosmos, employees can be shooting stars seeking new horizons, dimming stars reducing energy and engagement, or falling stars becoming disillusioned and resistant to change. This understanding can help us create workplaces that meet all facets of human needs, fostering environments where everyone can strive and thrive. As we continue to explore the universe, we must remember that our actions here on Earth have far-reaching impacts. Whether it's the carbon emissions from our space missions, the ways we communicate complex ideas, or how we treat each other in our workplaces, we are all connected in this vast universe.